the arguably top three winners of the 2019 Arnold Classic pre-judging night, Rolly Winkler versus William Bonac versus Brandon Carey. Now, I think that Rolly's conditioning is not as good as it was at the 2018 Mr. Olympia, but this is the pre-judging night and maybe he will manage to fix it in the finals. Nevertheless, my favorites to win are Brandon and Bonac, who definitely look amazing with the incredible size and definition they managed to bring on stage. You can see that Bonac nailed his conditioning and added size to his biceps and thighs. Brandon lats are insanely wide and sweep perfectly with his tight midsection. He also added size to his thighs which were criticized for not matching his upper physique. Rowley doesn't look as hard as the rest, so all in all I would give this pose to Brandon. The front lat spread shows the amazing width Brandon has in his chest and shoulders, which allow him to hit a very impressive pose showing his wide lats. Bonac's narrow structure doesn't help him much in this pose, but he still shows massive and separated shoulders, arms and thighs. Rolly's front lat spread has always been among his least impressive poses, because his massive arms overshadow his lats, so I think Brandon would win this pose. The side chest shows the high level of conditioning both Bonac and Brandon have. Look at the striations in their chest and shoulders, the pump in Bonac's amazing biceps. Bonac's rounded chest looks amazing, especially the lower chest. His thighs and glutes are separated with the line that splits the quads from the hamstrings. Rolly's hamstrings are so massive, but where is the conditioning among all this mass? I'm truly disappointed to see Rolly lacking the sharp definition needed to win this contest. Although Brandon looks amazing with his wide chest and shoulders, Bonac would win the pose with his overall symmetry and conditioning. The back double biceps shows that Brandon's physique is a Mr. Olympia material, no doubt about it. Look at the width of his lats. The size of his shoulders, arms and rib traps. His lower traps perfectly connect with his lats and his lower midsection looks amazing with the ripped glutes and hamstrings. Bonac, although not that wide, he still shows incredible level of conditioning with the visible veins in his ripped traps. His glutes and hamstrings are so ripped. His thighs look insanely huge in this pose. As for Rowley, He's just mass without class. He lacks the sharp look needed to match. And I see Brandon winning this pose. The rear lat spread shows the width that Rowley and Brandon have over Bonac. Brandon's lats are wide and dense and his lower part looks ripped. Rowley's lats might be as wide if not wider than Brandon's. But again, he lacks the definition in the glutes and the hamstrings. Bonac, although not that wide, still shows incredible conditioning in his traps, glutes and hamstrings. I think Brandon would win this pose. The side triceps is a winning pose for Rowley with his monstrous triceps. Bonac hits a very impressive pose and shows the incredible conditioning in his ripped shoulders, arms, glutes and thighs. He maintains a tight midsection which adds to the aesthetics of this pose. We can't see Brandon's triceps, but his shoulders, chest and rib midsection look amazing. I think Rowley would take this pose. The abs and thighs shows Brandon's ripped and tiny waist. His wide lats sweep perfectly with his midsection. He also shows incredibly massive and ripped quads with visible striations. Rowley's midsection also looks ripped with no symptoms of the bloated stomach. His quads are massive and separated, but I still think Brandon looks better. Bonac is the least impressive in this pose, but look at his incredibly huge and striated thighs. I think Brandon would win this pose. The most muscular shows the incredible amount of muscularity they show in this pose. With all due respect to Rowley, but Bonac looks the most impressive with his amazing traps, rounded and ripped chest and shoulders, incredible arms and forearms. Look at Bonac's massive and separated thighs with the visible striations. Brandon's pose is impressive as well, but his shoulders lack the roundedness Bonac has in his shoulders and overall proportion and symmetry. 
So all in all, I think Rowley will not be able to win this contest because he failed to nail his conditioning. But let's wait for the finals. In my opinion, it will be between Brandon and Bonac, who both added size and definitely managed to nail their conditioning. Thank you, Team Andro. Thank you, Andreas Volmari. And thank you guys for watching the video.